Upon rereading parts of Stone Ocean, I find myself being impressed by the introduction to the arcs. A lot of people don't like the prison setting and think that part 6 really starts to get good once Julian and co escape, but I'm not sure I agree with this. The prison has always had potential due to its naturally dangerous environment. The idea of not knowing who to trust and constantly being on edge is one of its main draws, and I find that the Guard Westwood secret arc incorporates this well into the usual arc structure. Jojo villains almost always stand out, but this is one of the few exceptions, meaning the first indication of an enemy stand being present is genuinely surprising. I previously criticised Stone Ocean's boring enemy designs, so it may seem weird to praise Westwood when he has a simple guard uniform, but his simplicity plays to the strengths of the prison, which I'm all for. I'm sure this was intentional from Araki, as the escalation from normality to danger is near instantaneous, and immediately grabbed my attention. Westwood does have a stand, but it isn't that interesting and isn't in the arc for long, as the real point of interest here is Survivor. Enhancing someone's battle ability is a simple idea and would normally be quite boring in Jojo, but yet again, just like Vivian's unassuming design, this works well in Stone Ocean due to Jolene's fighting style. One of the interesting things about Stone Free is the effect it has on the Joestar's body, allowing her to pull off feats that no normal person could. Because of this, she's far more involved physically in fights than protagonists normally are, as we frequently see her involved in hand-to-hand -hand combat. With a stand like Survivor, this makes her the perfect protagonist to throw down, especially due to the type of damage her stand can inflict. Body horror is pushed to the absolute extreme, which is a far greater indication of a character's status than just covering them in blood, and this disgusting form of violence is really well suited to the unrelenting powers of Survivor. As powerful as Jolene is, Westwood being a guard means he knows his way around a brawl with a fighting style based around immobilising opponents, being perfect for his stand which can be pretty suspenseful during its brief appearance. The snippets of Dio and Pucci here are interesting too. The idea of no stand being stronger or weaker than another is interesting when thinking about how power scaling works in this series, and I'm glad Araki brought this up again after touching upon it before. Survivor is the perfect example of this, and by reassuring the reader of its potency, this entire scenario is made all the more dangerous, especially since there are four stand users in the area. This plan to eliminate Jolene by Pucci highlights his meticulous nature, which I always enjoy seeing as he's one of the most competent villains in the series. There's subtle characterization for Dio here, which I also really appreciate. Talking of your character being important reminds me very much of his own tenacious nature, and it's great to see that despite his short appearance here, he manages to leave an impact due to the callbacks to his own past. Building on the disgusting violence of Metallica, this arc pushes one of the staples of Jojo to the extreme while perfectly highlighting the determination of both protagonist and antagonist, which is something that I've grown to love the series for. Everything about this quite simple battle is done well, seeming natural and fitting of the characters and surrounding of the part, and this is the kind of fight Stone Ocean needed.